Johnson's leadership. When he came to my office as Lieutenant Governor so long ago and proposed that we invest some then $70 million into History and Civil Rights Museum, I thought it was a wonderful vision, but perhaps only an illusion. I underestimated his tenacity. I underestimated the determination of the people of the great state of Mississippi, all that came together. When Haley Barber came into my office and said, this is not a choice. This is something we must do. Today, it has been done. It has been completed by the labor of thousands. There are so many to thank. Sitting behind me is an icon of Mississippi. Several are on this stage, but one that I particularly enjoy being with because he understands the burdens and the joys on occasion of being governor of the great state of Mississippi, but he is also a statesman and a leader, and I'm always honored to sit next to my dear friend, William Winter. And Merle Evers, Merle Evers, Merle Evers, Merle Evers, the kindest, gentlest soul that I know. Someone who could still be angry, who could have let the tragedies of the past consume her. But she has worked and labored and loved and is here today and how fortunate we are that she is. So many upon this stage that I should be recognizing, and I know tonight I will be disappointed that I did not. But as today is about, not about us, it is about Mississippi. It is about the history that we see inside from the earliest of times. It is about the Native Americans that were here far beyond our appearance. It is about the Civil Rights Museum, which I just walked through. Again, move with emotion as I stood there with the President of the United States. As we looked at the Damer home, the photograph of the uniform children standing there looking at the burned out remains of their home. As he peered around the room at the exhibits, the President said, Phil, Y'all have done something great here. I said, Mr. President, they did something great here long ago. They fought for freedom as surely as any soldier has ever done so upon any battlefield. The war raged here in our home. These stories must never be forgotten or obscured. Those that are upon those exhibits, the photographs and exhibits here are memories that should be rightfully preserved and celebrated. Alongside this fateful generation are many others who sacrificed and labored to create the Mississippi of the day. World wars and Economic depression strained, has strained our agrarian society in the past. The dark days of segregation cast a shadow across our beloved state that could only be eliminated by the light of the civil rights movement. But from this anguish emerged a state with the most generous and hardworking people anywhere in the world. Mississippi did more than just endure. We have prevailed. I am certain, I am certain we would not celebrate this momentous occasion today without the contributions of everyone recognized in these historic exhibits. The men and women, white and black, who poured themselves into making Mississippi a better place for our people. Today we have taken a once in a lifetime opportunity and added upon it a celebration for the ages and a celebration for all Mississippians. This is indeed our bicentennial. I'm ever mindful of God's benevolent hand laid gracefully upon our state's history. 
I have reflected recently upon my favorite hymn, so fitting for these times, written by a former slave trader in 1773. It records a spiritual journey of redemption. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that has saved a rich like me. I once was lost, but now I am found. I was blind, but now I see. While these words in a lifetime of service inspired by the forgiveness of his sins, John Newton, who became an ordained minister, transformed the nations and helped end slavery. The hymn changed the hearts of millions who saw in, in it a reflection of their own lives. In its words, I see the journey also of this great state. You see, Mississippi was once lost. But now we are found. We were blind, and now we see. This museum reflects the history of Mississippi's life and times, but it is only a reflection. It is for us here today to realize that we cannot build our future upon other people's past, but we must always learn from it. From this day forward, let all our transgressions be left to the past. Let us illuminate the future with our own little light and let it shine, let it shine, and let it shine. God bless you all for being here today. God bless Mississippi, and God bless the United States of America.